Hey, it's Dennis here, Victor Echo 3 Bravo Foxtrot. Thanks for tuning in on this video. Uh, we're going to look at a special hidden feature in the RT100. Uh, uh, this was discovered by a longtime uh, uh, user of LDG products and uh, he's shared it with a bunch of people and I want to share it with you guys. So let's take a look at the setup here. I've got the RT100 on my mast. It's a lighting stand. Uh, the antenna is a telescopic whip from MFJ and it's roughly about 16 feet long. Uh, um, I've got a coax, uh, which is this one here, going up to the antenna. I've got this coax going to the station, uh, to the radio itself. And uh, this is the station ground. It's just a uh, piece of copper wire uh, going to a ground stake in the ground. Now, this is for the Yesu users. This is, uh, if you have a, um, an FT891, an FT991, or a 991 Alpha, if you have an 857, or a uh, 897 and I believe the 450 as well. Any of the Ayesu radios that have the ATAS mode, this is for you. Great system for using a mobile, great system for making your shack really compact and neat. Let's check it out. All right, so we've eliminated this box. This is the RC100 that we saw in a previous video. All we're doing is we're taking our coax uh, from the tuner at the antenna and hooking it in to the HF port here on my radio. All right, here's we are at the front of the radio. Yeah, I know it's a new radio, the FT991A. Just got this one about two months ago and uh, I'm really, really enjoying it, but we'll do more videos on it soon. Well, let's go back to the task at hand here. We've got the antenna plugged in. Uh, we're set there. It's plugged into the tuner on the antenna on the other side of the curtain here. And the only reason I close this is just because the sunlight's so harsh. I want to make sure we can see the screen. We're on, um, we're on 20 meters, okay? Uh, let's turn up the volume here there's no one there we can see that on the waterfall so the trick here is you want to go into your uh, menu setup so we just hit menu setup go to your tuner option uh, in this particular radio it's tuner it's uh, menu item number 141 we select that the default is internal all right so we're going to go from internal and we're going to put it in the ATAS antenna, uh, ATAS mode. Uh, that's the automatic tuning antenna from Yesu. Now we hit enter and we go back. We're back into regular mode here. And uh, here's the secret with the stock microphone. Key down the microphone, hold the up button. And look at that. The antenna tuner is doing its thing. It's being powered by the radio and we got a one-to-one -one match. That's as simple as you can make it, folks. That makes it really, really neat. Uh, let's try a different band. Let's go to, uh, let's, well, let's go to the 15 meter band. And uh, again, uh, we're at the bottom of the solar cycles. The bands are so quiet, but let's give it a try here. We key down the microphone, hold the up button and hold the up button until the unit finishes tuning. It's doing its cycle. You can see the ATAS flashing red light there on the uh, left hand side near the top and it's doing its thing. And um, there we go, just about through and one to one match. Perfect. Um, let's see, can we do it uh, on the 40 meter band? This is stretching it with a 16 foot antenna, but hey, let's give it a try. What the heck? I'll go to the uh, 40 meter band. Again, the band is totally dead. Uh, I've, I haven't seen, oh, there's a signal down there, but it's not going to interfere what we're doing. Again, push the microphone, key it down, push the up button, hold it while the ATAS antenna flashes. It's going through its cycle and um, we'll go through here it's going through its algorithms and we're just about there we're going to find a match i can tell i know it's going to get lucky and we keep going through here we're just about there yeah 1.5 to 1 not bad on a 16 foot antenna let's see here um we'll try and make a contact let's go back to the uh 20 meter band that's where i got the best chance Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention, when you push down on your microphone, nobody there right at the moment, we're not going to interfere with anyone. When you push down on your microphone and you hit the up button, it starts tuning your radio. We've seen this before. What I forgot to mention is that what happens here, and we're tuned, the radio, um, the controller for the ATAS turns the power down to five watts for the tuning cycle, and then it turns it back up. Uh, for the uh, transmit cycle, so whatever you had your radio set at. Now there is a con there is a QSO going on here. The band is totally dead. Uh, 
Victor Echo 3, Bravo Foxtrot. Uh, yeah, Whiskey 4, Golf, Oscar, Golf. This is Victor Echo 3, Bravo, Foxtrot. Very good afternoon. Uh, band conditions are uh, difficult to say the least. <laughs> but glad to make your call, uh, get a call in to you. I'm just testing a new uh, uh, tuner here with a um, uh, just a portable antenna. I'm at a campground and operating from, uh, from a little gazebo. Over. Oh, very good, very good. Well, the band was stronger this morning, but you faded down there. You uh, you were about a 55 as well, and on that last transmission, you faded down. Hopefully, you're still copying me. Over. Roger, roger. The band is fading on us. Uh, Whiskey 4, Golf, Oscar, Golf. Uh, thanks for the contact. We'll try it again when band conditions are better. Over, over. Yeah, you're 55, 55, 55 as well, uh, but it is fading in and out. 55 at the peaks, over. All right, 73, and thanks for the contact, and happy 4th of July. Whiskey 4, Golf Oscar Golf, Victor Echo 3, Bravo Foxtrot, Stroke Portable, 73. Well, that was a uh, difficult contact to say the least, uh, difficult conditions today, that's for sure. Uh, the ATAS uh, settings on the ASU radio is a great way, you know, you get to say goodbye to the little remote control box, save yourself a couple of cables, make your setup a lot faster. Uh, very convenient if you're mobile, and when you're portable like me, you're camping and stuff, uh, you don't have to worry about that little box. A big shout out to the guys at LDG for providing the tuner for me to test, and uh, thanks to you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up if you didn't like it give me a thumbs down that's okay uh, but do me a favor write me a comment down below and let me know what you didn't like about the video that way I can make it better for the next time um, if you have any questions again write me down a comment down below or if you prefer to do it by email my information is good on QRZ I'm Victor Echo 3 Bravo Foxtrot Dennis and I'd like to thank you for watching wish you 73 and catch you on the next one